In this problem, we will solve an example atomic species balance problem. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt to solve this problem using atomic species. So let's get started. So just to recap for atomic species, if we want to solve an atomic species balance, this is how we first get the degree of freedom. If you want, you can pause the video here and review. So now let's solve. First, we need to get the degree of freedom. So degree of freedom using atomic species. So how many unknowns do we have? We have two unknowns, and they are N1 and N2. And how many atomic species balance can we write? We can write two, so minus two, because they are C and H, carbon and hydrogen. With that, we know that this problem is solvable since the DOF is equal to zero. So next, we will first get a uh, C balance, a carbon balance. So we have 200 kilomoles of C2H6 per minute. So you can do per minute. And within this, there is two carbons. See, C2H6, we're focusing on carbon, and so there's two of them. So one mole of C2H6 has two kilomoles of carbon. Now this is our input. Input is going to equal our output. Now we have three, we have three things. We have H2, C2H6, C2H4. We can ignore H2 because it contains no carbon. So we have N1, uh, which is C2H6. So N1 kilomoles of C2H6. So this compound right here contains two moles of carbon. So we can write that one kilomole of C2H6 contains two kilomoles of carbon. Also, this is per minute like before. Next, we do N2 plus N2, the exact same idea. So we can say kilomoles of C2H4 per minute. And this compound contains uh, two kilomoles of carbon. So one kilomole of this compound contains two kilomoles of carbon. So this is one reaction. And if you notice, we have two unknowns, N1 and N2. So if we need to solve this problem, we need to do an H balance. So we'll do an H balance. So same idea. So we have 200, and now we have six, carb six hydrogens. Now, I'm just going to do a little shortcut. Instead of doing all of this, I will say 200 times 6. Since we have 6 um, hydrogen for C2H6 is equal to. Now, this is where we need to use the 60. 60 kilomoles of H2. So we say parentheses 60 times 2 plus N1. N1 contains 6 uh, moles of hydrogen. So 6 plus N2, which has 4 moles of hydrogen. 4. So now we have two, un we have two unknowns and two equations. So now we can solve this problem. So I'm going to pull up my calculator. So we'll hit menu, algebra, uh, solve, systems of equations, and we have two unknowns, n1 comma n2. And our first equation, which was carbon, was 200 times 2 is equal to 2 times n1 plus 2 times n2. Next, we'll do hydrogen. 200 times 6 is equal to 60 times 2 plus N1 times 6 plus N2 times 4. We hit enter and we get N1 is 140 and N2 is 60. So we can write this down. So we ultimately got that N1 was 140, 140 kilomoles of C2H6 per minute and N2 was 60 kilomoles of C2H4 per minute. 
Now you may ask that 60 plus 140 plus 60 would be uh, 260, right? Which this is 200. So you, you can say, how can this be? If you notice, this is C2H6 is producing these two things. So essentially this 60 and this 60 are one thing. So this is here is 60 plus 140. And that's all you need to do for this problem.